am Deidreo Bent, a fourth year student here at the School of Dance, studying a BFA in performance and choreography. I have always loved dancing, but coming from Montego Bay, there was not much versatility in the art form. So I sought ways in which I could become as versed as the art form, and that led me to Kingston. So I did the summer school in 2012, I believe it was, and that convinced me enough to come to school in 2014. Back in Montego Bay, I was only learning traditional folk forms, you know, Gere, um, John Kunu, Kumina, and that was all on the um, JCDC. Just like any other choreographer, you have to make sure that your music is right, you have to make sure that your moves are coinciding with your music, you have to make sure that your dancers are on point. And as a choreographer, you know, you have to make sure that your dancers can actually manage what you want to do and it works with the music. I'm going to have to say flexibility because that has been my major, major downfall as a dancer. People believe that, oh my God, they can do these great things, they have great legs and nice arms. For me, I had to struggle to get my arms. A lot of people like to have dinosaur arms, T-Rex. So I had to try really hard with that. I had to push myself beyond the norm in terms of flexibility because I didn't come to Edna very flexible. Matter of fact, I didn't come to Edna even knowing how to, you know, point my toe out with ballet because I was rooted in traditional folk. So coming here was like a, you know, culture shock, but it was good. It, it made you want to push, well, it made me want to push and push and push with each different genre of dance. It made me want to be like, all right, great. If I'm this good at folk, I want to be this good at all the others. My mom. <laughs> yes, my mother, 101% and my best friend. So my mom is at, all the way at home and sometimes she's at work. So majority of the time she can't. So you find I'll like, I'll check my phone. I have a motivational message. She's like, don't worry. You're doing great. You're almost there. Do your best. She does that from a distance. Shanika as my best friend in the whole world. Ever since like we've been friends, the best of friends for like three years. And we're on our last lap together. And I'd like to say that she's also one of my biggest motivations. So I'll be, we'll be in a class and I'm like, yo, I can't do this no more. And she's like, no, yo, come, we're going to do this, whatever, whatever. And it works the same way for her and myself. If she falls short, I'm like, don't worry, we have this, whatever, whatever. Because she's an international student. She's all the way from Grenada. So we have our times when we're low. We have our homesick moments. She's like, you know, don't worry, fine. It's going to be okay. We got each other's back. We're going to do it. There is a dancer and a choreographer, to be honest. The dancer being Aisha Kamisiang. She is from Barbados, yes. She's full on goals when it, when it comes to a dancer, full on goals. I was once told that, you know, I reminded somebody of her. She's really long, she's really beautiful, her lines are amazing. Goals. And then the choreographer would have to be her best friend being Jessica Shaw, who was once a lecturer here as well. When Jessica choreographs, it's like, wow, how did you really come up with that song? That is literally how I feel when you watch her choreograph her choreography um, unfold on the stage. Because you can see, because I've seen her work, and it's in its pieces. It's like, oh my god, what are you really gonna do, Jessica? And when you see it on stage, you're like, whoa, I did not see that coming. I definitely love the community of the environment. So it's a it's a few of us. But we're always willing to cooperate to get something done. So, for example, um, finally, your show is like myself coming up or dance comp uh, last year and the third years will now do. We need bodies to choreograph on to make our grade. I like that people are always willing to say, oh, I'm available if you need me, you know, to be a part of your show or whatever, whatever. That's nice because if we don't have each other to rely on, then what are we gonna do? We still have to get our work done, which requires bodies in the space. Also love that we, we joke about everything. We listen, <laughs> we, listen we, don't, we joke about the very injuries that we have, you know? So it's good, it's like a family here. And the ICANN, I appreciate that. It's like a home away from home. So I wanna get my masters in lighting and from there, I'll see where 
I could uh, get back on my journalism. Because I already have my dancing under my belt. I have my lighting under my belt. I find another way to tackle my journalism. Push, 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 beyond push. Because uh, dance is very unforgiving, as they like to say. The body is very unforgiving. And uh, that is something that can really bring down somebody's confidence and self-esteem. So I would beg the year one students to never give up because uh, you're, you're going on a journey and best believe you're the only one going on that journey. If you cut yourself short and you stop the journey, then you stop your whole energy, you stop your whole flow, you stop your growth, you stop your progress. So nobody's saying it's going to be easy. I mean, it's life. You know, concert dance is life. It's hard. You know, so you have to keep going, you have to keep going. I'm not saying there are not days you want to just all right, take a breath, relax, chill. That's fine. But get back up there and do and push. You can only get better. There's no way you can get any worse. I've never heard of that yet. So, you know, my my advice is to just keep going. It's going to be rough. You're going to ball. Up to this day, I still ball. And that's okay. You have to, you know, have some, some way to let go of all that frustration and that tension. Just still keep going. It's going to be okay. Trust me. It's going to be okay. It's going to pay off. Somebody will see it paying off.